Assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to discuss pericardial tamponade and flare chest starting with pericardial tamponade it is a collection of blood fluid in the pericardial sac and this fluid compresses the heart it is most commonly caused by penetrating trauma but blunt trauma can also cause this condition the clinical features include back stride which consists of hypotension raised venous pressure with distended neck veins and muffled heart sounds when the fluid compresses the heart there is not enough space for the veins to drain blood so on the left side the cardiac filling decreases as a result cardiac output decreases causing hypotension and it can even lead to shock whereas on the right side due to decreased space the blood starts to back up in the veins most notably the jugular vein this results in increased jugular venous pressure which is indicated by distended neck veins and on auscultation you have distant muffled heart sounds which is due to the fluid acting as a barrier between the heart and the stethoscope these three signs are the classical features of pericardial tamponade other features include cosmal sign which is raised central venous pressure on inspiration another feature is pulsus paradoxus which is a large fall in systolic blood pressure during inspiration in normal conditions the blood pressure does fall during inspiration but it is less than 10 mm of mercury but in pulsus paradoxus the drop is more than 10 mmhg due to decreased filling and decreased cardiac output pulseless electrical activity is also seen in pericardial tamponade which means that the ecg shows a heart rhythm that should produce a pulse but it does not this occurs when electrical activity of the heart is normal but still the heart either does not contract at all or there is insufficient cardiac output to generate a pulse lastly on a chest x ray an enlarged cardiac silhouette is seen For diagnosis elevated central venous pressure and fast scan are the most reliable fast shows the fluid in the pericardial sac now the treatment for pericardial tamponade has two purposes first to relieve the pressure on the heart and second to treat the underlying condition initial management is by pericardial synthesis this involves the insertion of a needle through the skin and into the pericardium and aspiring fluid but it is not the definite treatment because it has a high potential for iatrogenic injury So it's only suggested when surgical intervention is not possible. The surgical evacuation of pericardial blood is the definite treatment, either by a subxephoid window or by open surgery like a stenotomy or left thoracotomy. Now let's move on to flail chest. It is a result of blunt trauma to the chest, and it occurs when a segment of the rib cage breaks and becomes detached from the rest of the chest wall. In this, multiple adjacent ribs are fractured in multiple places. Think of this when you see paradoxical chest wall movements, in which during breathing a section of the chest moves in the opposite direction as the rest of the chest wall. So, on inspiration, the chest wall expands, but the flail segment is displaced inwards. In addition to paradoxical chest wall movements, patient will have chest pain, respiratory distress, and hypoxia due to pulmonary contusion and restricted chest wall movement due to pain. So, pulmonary contusion as well as pneumothorax and hemothorax may also be associated with flail chest. And just like tension pneumothorax it is a clinical diagnosis so chest x-ray is not advised and the treatment consists of oxygen administration adequate analgesia and physiotherapy in case of severe chest injury and pulmonary contusion surgery should be performed so this was everything about today's topic thank you for watching